What's going on guys? Jacob Orth back with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys from downtown Las Vegas. I'm actually a few blocks north of Fremont Street. So I'm going to actually take you guys down a different street tonight. I don't think I've ever taken you guys down this way. I've taken you guys down Ogden before at night. I've never taken you guys down Stewart. So as you guys can see, I am right here in front of the Main Street Station Casino. Just outside the California as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a right and we're going to walk down Stewart here just on another road in downtown Vegas to show you guys what it looks like on the ground level. And if you guys want to catch more of these videos on a regular basis, be sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe icon, click the notification bell and click all so that you get all the notifications when I do videos like this for those of you who love Las Vegas. So for those of you that are not familiar, like I said, this is Stewart that I'm walking on. You see the freeway there in the distance? So I-15, which will take you all the way to Southern California. And this, we're going south, we're going north, will take you all the way to Salt Lake City. Right here, you hit 95, it connects to coming through downtown here, which will take you to 515. So you can either go 95 this way, or you can go 95 towards like northwest part of Las Vegas. So this is a Saturday night here in downtown. Fremont Street's pretty crowded as you can imagine. We got live music going, so people are loving the live music. But definitely a difference between a weekend night, like a Friday or Saturday, and a weekday night, like a Monday or Tuesday on Fremont Street. So obviously walking down Stewart here, there's not quite as much to see as there is on Fremont. Uh, there's another street between us, which is Ogden. So I'm on Stewart. One more street over is Ogden. One more street over is Fremont. You can actually see the Golden Nugget sign, or at least I can. I'm not sure you guys can see on the screen. But you can see the Golden Nugget lit up. You can see the canopy itself right there. And of course you can see some of the hotels, you can see Fremont, you can see the Four Queens. So just two blocks away from the infamous Fremont Street. So where I'm walking, there's obviously still, you're still right around the action walking this area. Next one I'm going to come up to is Casino Center here in just a moment. This building right up here, you guys, is the Mob Museum. So that's the history of the mob in Las Vegas. I went there, oh man, yeah, over six years ago now. And it's a cool spot to go into. Definitely worth a look if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into that kind of history. If you love movies like Casino and Goodfellas and stuff like that, you'll probably enjoy it. And they usually have different discounts, I think for military, students, they might even have a teacher's discount if I'm not mistaken. But if you look online, you give them a call, they'll give you the full rundown. So this is Casino Center I'm crossing. This will take you right into the heart of Fremont Street. If you ever want to go down that way, be right in the middle of it.
Nobody's coming down the alley here. Don't have to worry, worry about anybody running me over. This is the National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement, or the Mob Museum for short. As we come up this way, we're going to come right up against the Grand here. And on our right, we are going to see some other businesses. Restaurant, pawn shop, hogs and heifers, very popular spot here in downtown Vegas. Also, Triple George, you can grab a slice of pizza over there. I did a video on a pizza, and I forgot how long ago, but nonetheless, it was good pizza. You guys can see the Grand is going under some construction right now. Some renovations, actually looks like they're adding on, not just renovating. This is a property that struggled to get business and struggled with their marketing and advertising for years. So I mean, not only are they downtown, not only are they off strip, you know, downtown, where it's harder to compete with the strip, they are off of Fremont Street. With all the other major hotels and casinos are located so they got their work cut out for them to try to garner some business <laughs> well i can't hit my button to cross but the light is green it's mine <laughs> you guys can see gold spike right down here it's got like a million people outside of it you know what i'll take you guys down this way hopefully it's not too much of a mess for me to just walk by but we shall see actually see some people in the back at Gold Spike. Looks like they're playing giant beer pong. Yeah, let's see what's going on at Gold Spike. On Saturday night, it's about, I think it's about 10.30 right now. So by Vegas standards, the night is plenty young. My original plan was just to walk all the way down Stewart, but it's making pretty good time, so I'll take this little detour. Gold Spike Saturday night. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, it's not that hectic up here. I thought it was gonna be worse. So Gold Spike, I think pretty much every night of the week at nine o'clock, they play music inside. So it's a bit more of like a club atmosphere. This place is open 24 hours a day, guys. So you can come in here during the day, when it's pretty mellow, grab a drink, hang out. You can play at board games, pool tables, they have like uh, carnival games, stuff like that in here. They've got a place to eat. So you can just come, hang out, lounge around if you want. Um, 
So, but nine o'clock is when they have security at the door. They usually start checking IDs. And they actually use a machine that takes a picture of your ID. So if you ever get in trouble here, you get banned from here and all the other locations that um, are owned by the same company around town. Everything owned by the downtown project. So you wind up getting banned from all of them. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they do like the club thing. The other nights they'll play music, but it's not like, not quite like the club atmosphere, I'll say. It's toned down a bit. Back to Las Vegas Boulevard, up, just much farther doing? north of where people are used to seeing it. So, go right down that way, just one block over, and you're going to hit Fremont Street. So, guys, I think that's it for the walk tonight. <laughs> I'm doing good. It's a shorter walk compared to a lot of the other ones I do, but. Nonetheless, got to show you guys around downtown here, something a little bit different than just walking on Fremont Street. So I think some of you probably liked it. You like the tourist stuff, you like seeing stuff a little bit off the uh, touristy path as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you being so awesome. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you guys next video.